a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Hello and welcome to a brand new show, a brand new segment, a brand new product. This is a new podcast. We're going to call it Morning Mindset. I am your host, Paul Markle. And I've been doing this for quite a while now, not Morning Mindset, but I've been doing the radio hosting and podcasting and broadcasting and so forth. But this is a brand new show, and it's specifically designed to be a quick, easily digestible product. This is something that you should be able to listen to while you sip your morning coffee, during your morning commute, as you begin your day each and every day. A little bit of background. The morning mindset concept started, at least with us, uh, myself and Jared, my producer, we started this about three or four years ago, and we were doing morning mindsets with Facebook Live and with YouTube, and I decided that this avenue, the on-demand podcast, was probably the best way to deliver the content Uh, easily and most readily to the greatest number of people in the largest audience. So there you go. Now, the time frame on these, we've been doing podcasts and normally our shows go between 42, 45, sometimes 50 minutes long, but this is going to be short. Each and every podcast uh, for Morning Mindset is going to be between 10 and 15 minutes. As a matter of fact, I do have my stopwatch. Yes. I opened up the app, (laughs) the stopwatch app on my phone, and I'm watching the time. So uh, I've been told that uh, I have the ability to speak at length, shall we say, and I'm going to try and keep these quick and easy to digest. So what is morning mindset? Well, number one, if you've never heard my voice before, congratulations and welcome. Uh, My name is Paul Markle, and I have been a United States Marine, a police officer, a professional bodyguard. I've been the author of, I am the author of numerous books. I'm the father of three successful adult children. I'm the host of Student of the Gun Radio and Television. And I've been writing professionally for about 25 plus years now. Now, the mindset concept, we we talk about mindset all the time. And when you hear Uh, People bandy about things when they're talking about business or they're talking about education or they're talking about fitness or they're talking about strength training or sports or what have you. They talk about mindset and they throw that out there and it's almost as if they use the term mindset to just try and reinforce their point. But what is mindset? What does it mean? It's not just a word that we throw out to try and, you know, uh, convince people to listen to our show or convince people to take our advice. Mindset is that thing that determines how you view the world and the actions that you take or the actions that you do not take. For instance, you get in your car, you turn on the ignition, and you will either put your seatbelt on or you won't. No one is in the car with you. No one is putting a gun to your head telling you you have to. And, you know, you say, well, even if it is the law, you know, it's the law, you have to do it. But what makes you put it on? Well, it's either your education, your experience, or it's the fact that you are afraid of getting a ticket. Now, if you're afraid of getting a ticket, that is still mindset. Or maybe you say, you know what? I'm an adult. I'll do whatever I feel like doing. I don't care. I'm not going to put it on. Either way, your mindset's going to determine whether or not you put that seatbelt on or whether you don't. When it comes to fitness or training or strength training or what have you, mindset is pretty simple. Uh, You, as an adult, you're going to decide, well, I know that I should go to the gym and train today. I know that I should. I know it's on my schedule. But other things in life get in the way. I get busy, I get tired, I get annoyed, I just want to go home, so on and so forth. So, do you take the time to go to the gym and train? If you do, or don't, regardless of those two, that is a choice choice made based upon your mindset. And what I'm hoping to do uh, through the next few weeks and months and so on and so forth is help you to make good decisions, help you to use your mindset in a positive fashion. And we're going to talk about things such as self-assessment, 
coaches versus mentors. Uh, anger is not a strategy. Excuses are not reasons. We're going to talk about the difference between education, intelligence, and information. Setting goals. Rebuilding bridges. Do you desire or do you deserve? Those are just some of the – I flipped the pages and I was looking at my future show notes. So as we progress – and one of the things that I wanted to stress from the very beginning, the reason I decided to do a show called Morning Mindset is because – Mindset is actually the most important thing when it comes to preparedness, readiness, training, whether you're talking about a business experience, a fitness experience, a personal defense or survival or readiness experience, your mindset is far more important than the things you buy. Unfortunately, in the United States of America, we try and skip over the hard stuff, the mindset, the self-discipline, the determination by doing what? By spending money. (laughs) <laughs> Look at the weight loss and fitness industry. The weight loss and fitness industry survives based upon people who have a weak mindset or a weak constitution. They want to purchase their way around discipline. I'm going to buy the Abersizer or the thigh master or the perfect push-up. I'm going to buy a machine, a tool. I'm going to buy a gadget. And I'm going to own that gadget. And that gadget, if I use that gadget three minutes a day, three times a week, I'm going to look like Schwarzenegger or I'm going to look like Suzanne Summers, or what have you. The fact of the matter is we know deep within our core that we can't buy our way around mindset. We can't purchase our way around self-discipline and determination. Those are things that we have to genuinely apply ourselves. So when we talk about mindset, mindset should be at the top of the pyramid. It is number one. And I've been a police officer, like I said, and a professional bodyguard. I've been carrying a gun my entire life. And a lot of people will, uh, they will get a concealed carry permit or they will have a permit to carry from their state or locality. And they're legally allowed to do it. But do they do it all the time? And this goes to police officers, sheriff's deputies, citizens, what have you. They get dressed. They look at the gun on the the dresser or in the safe or whatever, and they think, you know, I'm just going to run out and do blank. I'm just going to church. I'm just running to the store real quick. I'm not going to a bad neighborhood. I'm not going to somewhere where I would need a gun. So they don't take it with them. Well, that is a mindset choice. And it doesn't matter how many guns you own in your safe. It doesn't matter how many, you know, objects you purchase. If you don't have the mindset to use them, to carry them, to be ready to use them, then all the, all the, the stuff that you buy, regardless of how cool and Gucci and neat and, and interesting it is, is really pointless. So mindset is the top of the pyramid. Mindset is the jewel in the crown. And then we're going to spend a, a good deal of time talking about that. So I, I hope that you're excited as I am. I'm, I'm very excited. This is a brand new product for this. Um, Jared is in the background. He's going to be editing and he's going to be putting everything together, producing it. Zachary, my studio engineer, is going to help me to make sure that these go out each and every morning so that uh, wherever you are on planet Earth, as you're sipping your coffee, you're, you're doing your morning or commute, uh, or you're prepping for your day, You can pop it in, you can turn it on, you can listen to it, get the morning mindset knocked out. Maybe you can start your day in a more positive way. As I said, I am Paul Markle. If this is your first time listening to the sound of my voice, thank you very much. Congratulations. I hope that you enjoy this journey that we're about to begin. Uh, Tomorrow, we're going to talk about self-assessment. That's going to be uh, the topic for the day for Morning Mindset tomorrow. We hope that you will join us then. And if you enjoy what it is we're doing, please leave a review, whether it is on iTunes or Pocket Caster or Podcast Gallery or whatever it is you happen to be using to listen to the sound of my voice. Please leave a review. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com.
www.thepodcastnetwork.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.